Booker Transitions for Premiere Pro. Here's the folder you have just downloaded from Avato or from Elements. And here in the Mocked folder is all you need for Premiere Pro. There are three folders, a landscape, a portrait and a square. All these folders include the identical transitions but in different aspect ratio. In our example, we will use an HD. So, drag and drop one of these mocked files in the Essential Graphics menu in the Browse panel and then drop that mocked file in your timeline. Align that mocked file in the center of your two media. You may need to zoom a little. When you are ready, make an in and out and render a preview. The transition is now ready. By selecting the mocked file, you have some settings here. You have the card settings, the chip settings and the flare settings. The card setting includes the opacity of this big card in our screen now, the card front color, this white paper here, you can change that in black for example, let's turn it back to white, then you have a selection of an ace, whether this is a heart or a diamond, you have two aces, this now is a heart and this heart here can be a club. So you have two cards you can adjust with these drop-down menus. Then you have the back colors. Here is the white color of this pack and this is the... Let's make that green. And let's make the black blue. Next you have a scale slider for these shapes, you can make them smaller or bigger. Keep in mind that there is a minimum value around 60 where you will have some white space or some card space, so make it around 80, 90 and above. Next you have the chip colors. You have a chip slider for the opacity so you can remove all the chips from your scene. And then you have three colors for the chips. The white is a common color where you can have it as a black. And then you have two colors for the chips. The one can be yellow, for example, and the other can be white. Finally, you got the flare settings. The flare includes a flare in the center of the transition where you can just remove it or you can add a saturation value and use this clock wheel to add some color in the flare. I hope you enjoy working with these poker transitions for Premiere Pro and make great Promise. Thanks for watching.